Did you know that a cyber attack occurs every 39 seconds? I'm not making this up. This is research out of University of Maryland. But seriously, while we're talking, while you're watching this video, several attacks will have taken place around the world. It's bananas. So in order to combat this relentless onslaught, one approach is to have more qualified members in the cybersecurity workforce. Therefore, you can bolster and strengthen more organizations worldwide. Hi, I'm Jerry from SimplyCyber.io. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the ISC2 Certified in Cybersecurity, or CC, certification. Now, before we dive deeper and really get into the nuts and bolts of this, I want to be transparent and let you know that this video is sponsored by ISC2, the world's leading cyber professional organization, and with whom I've actually been a member through my CSSP way back in 2009 before all this gray hair kind of came in. We've all seen the headlines about cyber attacks on infrastructure and breaches at banks and other big institutions, but did you ever stop and think about how important cybersecurity is for each of us every single day? We do many, many things online all the time. Here we are right now, you're watching this content streaming from somewhere online, but on the back end, there's all kinds of technologies and controls in place to keep us and our technology safe from cyber criminals. In terms of the job market, cybersecurity is a hot field. There are many postings all over the world looking for people with cyber knowledge and experience. According to cyberseek.org, between May of 22 and April of 23, there were 663,434 cyber job openings in the United States alone. To note a limitation, this does include jobs of every experience level, not just entry level. I wasn't able to filter that way. Now, let me tell you about the CC 1 million campaign. ISC2 is on a mission to certify 1 million cybersecurity professionals this is a massive vision initiative, as you can imagine, to strengthen the global workforce in this critical field. The approach ISC2 is taking is by making foundational cybersecurity knowledge available to newcomers to the industry and offering access to their entry-level certification exam, both for free. Now, for transparency and coverage, when you do pass and earn the certification, you will be required to pay a $50 annual maintenance fee as a member of ISC2. The membership does give you access to ISC2 provider resources, so it's not just some silly, ambiguous service fee that gets slapped onto your uh, bill or your membership for no reason. ISC2 members are required to maintain continuing professional education credits. It's basically to make sure that if you're an ISC2 person, that you're staying current on industry topics and continue to develop yourself professionally. And as being a member, part of that $50 fee that you pay, you actually get access to a ton of resources that ISC2 provides at no additional cost as a member that allows you to continue to earn and develop yourself and get those CPEs. So it's definitely a value add. The Certified in Cybersecurity CC certification is designed to equip you with foundational knowledge and skills that can help you break into the field. You don't need to be a math or science expert or any kind of specialist to start a career in cybersecurity. People are coming into the field from all different types of backgrounds. So much of what you do need though are non-technical skills like strong communication skills, being able to work individually or in a team. Much of the rest can be learned. It's hard, but it can be learned and the CC is intended to enable this learning. So what does the education and the exam cover exactly, you might be thinking. The educational content and exam covers five different domains. You can see here they're broken out, but one of them, the smallest of the portions is business continuity, disaster recovery, incident response. This is only going to go really an inch deep, but give you exposure to you know, the concepts of business continuity, business impact, understanding of backups, and you know, the, the ability of what disaster recovery is and what incident response are. So that's what that is. The next one is SecOps or security operations. This is gonna cover like data security and encryption, data handling, best practices, change management. It's kind of like a, a whole uh, collection of different types of normal ongoing processes within a regular information security program. Then you have identity and access management. This is really what you would think it is. It's all around access controls, security controls, cloud-based, privileged access, elevated permissions, those type of things. A lot of concepts. Um, as we move towards zero trust architecture, identity and access management is front and center for a lot of the controls there. So it's great to have a focus there. And then there's security principles, which is, you know, think of the CIA triad. What is risk? What are we doing here? Kind of like day one stuff. Very, very foundational and very, very important. Uh, and then finally, they round out with network security, which includes, you know, the technology, the tech pieces, TCP, IP, the OSI model, defense in depth, ports, protocols, packets, DNS. It gets really into the technical weeds there, which is great because I say it all the time. 
you really are uh, expected to have a foundational knowledge of networking if you're going to work in the field. Now, the free education is provided upon signing up with the instructions below, as I'll go through in, in a minute. And this is for non-members only, this, this education curriculum. So if you are an ISC2 certified member, as I am already, uh, you are not eligible for this program. It's to get newcomers into the field. It's to get people pivoting out of their existing field into it, right? We can't add it to the cyber workforce if we're just leveling up the people who are already in it. Here is that self-paced training. I did check out some of it. You can see it's basically broken out by the domains, as you can imagine. There are knowledge checks. Obviously, there's videos and reading that goes in there. Um, there's you know infographics and kind of interactive things. There are quizzes at the end. Uh, at uh, end of sections to make sure that you're learning stuff and being uh, measured against that. You can see here is the quiz. Uh, so you can do that. So you can run across all of those different dimensions of the education. Now, the exam itself. The exam itself is 100 questions and you get two hours, which is you know a fair amount of time to complete this. And you need a passing score of 700 out of 1000 in order to consider yourself passing the exam. Now, how do you sign up, right? Okay, Jerry, this is awesome. Free education, free exam, try, like let's rock and roll. For a limited time, you can uh, get the free entry level certified in cybersecurity CC online self-paced training and an exam voucher and here's how it works go to the link in the description below I'll, I'll spell it all out i'll say click here for uh starting the journey but once you click on that link you'll follow these steps you'll create an isc2 account you'll complete your isc2 candidate application form you'll select certified in cybersecurity cc as your certification of interest then you get access to the certified in cybersecurity online self-paced training then you take the training get experience learn Go through the parts that aren't making a ton of sense again. And when you're ready, use the code that they give you to register for and take the free certification exam. Again, it's 100 questions over two hours. And remember, on successful passing of the certification exam, you would have to pay that $50 annual maintenance fee at that time at a Pearson View Testing Center. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure the Pearson View Testing Center is near you or you have ability to go get to it. Um, I was gonna take the CC exam just for fun and uh, tell you how my experience was, but the nearest one is 45 minutes away from me and I, I just don't have the time to, to drive out there. But just make sure that works for you. But that's it. Take a minute, sign up. There is a link in the description, as I mentioned, that can start you on the journey and follow this path. I wanna make it as easy as possible for you. My final Final thoughts on this. I've been in the field for years. Having foundational knowledge is critical and being able to attest that you have acquired that knowledge is really valuable, especially for entry level positions where HR can use those entry level certifications to pre-screen candidates. Given the learning and exam are free and you would be in for $50 for a year is good value in my opinion. I'd also encourage you to ensure your resume documents the things that you've learned during the training and not just that you've earned the certification, although you should add that as well. There's a lot of meat on the bone here to pick at and add value to your resume as a candidate uh, to learn and be you know, experienced in being able to fulfill the job and opportunity that you're going to be interviewing for and such. So it's a great uh, opportunity all around. I'm Jerry from Simply Cyber IO. I hope you got value out of this content and I invite you to check out the rest of the content on the channel as I have over 800 videos helping anyone and everyone launch and level up a cybersecurity career. Until next time, stay secure.